Commander is an interesting format. Evolving from Adam Staley's Elder Dragon Highlander through becoming an officially supported format in 2011 to becoming Magic's most popular format to exist nowadays, Commander alters how the game functions quite a bit, while at the same time amplifying what makes the game fun to play and explore. Some fundamental rules that differentiate Commander from formats like Modern or Vintage include the 100 card deck restriction, the singleton rule allowing for only one copy of any card that isn't a basic land, starting life totals of 40 life and the multiplayer aspect of the game. While initially games of Commander simply consisted of regular magic arts, it soon became clear that this format opens up new design space for specific mechanics that take advantage of these rules. This included things like Lieutenant, which cares about you controlling your commander, Eminence, which we discussed in my Earth Dragon video, Goat, incentivizing combat in multiplayer, Partner, and so on. These all show up on a handful of cards. They're mechanics, after all. But there is one exception among these. You all know who I'm talking about. Say hello to Yuriko, the Tiger's Shadow. While it could be argued that Yuriko's ability isn't actually new, I think the difference between regular ninjutsu and commander ninjutsu is so staggering that the latter deserves to be talked about separately. See, there is a number of mechanics that fundamentally don't work on a commander, namely cycling or channel, and of course original ninjutsu, since the ability specifically states that the card needs to be in your hand. So if you wanted to play a ninja deck with Higure or Inkais prior to Yuriko, you were basically out of luck. And that was a shame, since Ninjutsu was regarded as one of the best and most fun mechanics from original Kamigawa, which was later reinforced by the fact that it showed up again in Neon Dynasty, unlike the dozen other Kamigawa mechanics that are better off collecting dust. So naturally, the question arose, how to make this popular keyword function with a legendary creature for EDH? And then Yuriko promptly proved that Ninjutsu in fact still does not work on a commander, just in another sense. If you're unfamiliar with this strange corner of the rules, allow me an introduction. Another rule specific to commander is the so-called commander tax, a rule that makes your commander cost 2 additional mana to cast for each time it has left and re-entered the comfy space of your command zone to balance the game as it goes on. This also affects costs such as dash or blitz, but not ninjutsu. The important distinction is that those are alternative casting costs, while Ninjutsu is an ability. Compare it to Derevi's ability to be put directly onto the battlefield. Remember when Derevi used to be relevant? But unlike the no longer relevant bird wizard, Yuriko puts herself directly into a situation where she's the most dangerous. So I'd say now is the time to look at the rest of her text box. She deals combat damage, which is just one, seems fair. I reveal this dig through time from the top of my library, draw it, drain everyone of 8 life, and I'm sorry, what? And just to remind you, all of that happened thanks to 2 mana and an unblocked slitter blade. To be fair, the top card of your library isn't something you can always control, and sometimes it's just going to be a basic island. You still get to draw that card though, which on combat damage usually happens at 3 mana minimum, with little additional upside. And it's not too hard to find effects that scry tutor cards onto the top of your library or put them there from your graveyard. One thing I find really interesting about Yuriko though is the deck building aspect that requires you to play both very cheap evasive creatures and expensive threats to get value out of that damage trigger. This means that you're likely to either drain very little life with Yuriko or flood your hand early with expensive spells you're unable to cast if you don't play correctly. All of that is unfortunately still weighed down by the unfair design of her ninjutsu ability. Unfair usually means strong though, and strong commander designs tend to be very popular. The interesting part about this is that similarly to Atraxa, the Ur Dragon and Lathril, Yuriko comes from a commander pre-constructed deck, specifically from the Commander 2018 set, but unlike her colleagues, she didn't appear as the face commander and not even one of the alternatives, as she was part of the Esper colored subjective reality deck. And well, she surpassed her deck's three commander options by miles, which makes for a pretty unique story for a precon legend. That story also sadly comes with a 1.75 salt score rating on EDH rec, 
putting her at the third saltiest spot among the 10 most popular commanders just behind Atraxa and Edgar Markov. Don't you worry, we shall get to him in time. Anyways, I'll leave it up to you to decide whether it was worth it or not. I always say something about the art as well, so let's get to it now. We see Yuriko standing atop a rooftop of a Japanese-style building, light shining through the clouds from behind her. For me, the most interesting part about her is the action pose, very fitting for her profession. She looks like she's constantly moving, not just posing for a portrait. And then her weapon. Seriously, what is that thing? If it's something from our world, please let me know. Otherwise, that's a pretty amazing weapon design. Beyond that, she lacks some kind of a strong defining feature. I quite like her secret lair, Year of the Tiger alternative art, as that one actually shows a tiger's shadow behind her, albeit at the cost of a background, while keeping her core elements intact. At the same time, I can't stand the fact that the same secret lair includes a $2.5 reprint of Jedid Ojanin. Why? I'm getting a bit off track here. It's time to wrap up anyways. Yuriko is an interesting commander design that sadly gets stained and overlooked due to the unfair nature of her ninjutsu variant. Was it a mistake to create that ability? Probably. Does it demand a rework such as Arata that would make it include commander tags? Probably not. And even if it did, it's arguably a bit too late for that. Another thing to add here is that Yuriko encapsulates another popular trope, that being the badass ninja, that a lot of kids want to become. So I can see a lot of people playing her for that reason as well. Just like the Ur Dragon provides the ultimate dragon experience, or how Lathra lets you feel like a cool elf right out of a Tolkien story. It's important that magic lets its players live out all of these epic fantasies. And on the other hand, when you go up against a trained ninja, it's hardly going to be a fair fight for you anyways. Hi there. At the start of this epilogue rant, I just need to clarify that at the time of recording, Yuriko is no longer the fourth most popular commander in the past two years on EDH Rec, uh, as she was when I started coming up with these ideas. She's actually rank 6, but the ranks like 3 to 6 right now are very much tied um, in terms of the number of decks they have to their name. So it's a bit debatable. And uh, well, I just wanted to talk about Yuriko now, so I did. Uh, and that's the whole point. And also Lateral isn't number three anymore. She's number four right now. But the difference between her and Ishin is like uh, 200 decks or something. So uh, it doesn't really matter. And yeah, that's all. Uh, this time I didn't have that much poetic stuff to, to say. But I still find the topic of Commander Ninjutsu to be quite interesting and there's probably a good discussion to be had around it. I'm interested to see if it ever comes back. Probably not, uh, seeing as it's uh, not perceived in the best light, I believe. But we thought the same about Eminence and it returned recently, so who knows at this point. Uh, but I believe that if it does come back, it will be a much fairer design and there will be some way to balance it out. We shall see. Thank you for watching everyone. Please check out my other videos and have a great day. Bye.